Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally, I'm filming a video. I feel like I haven't filmed or at least like sat down and filmed in front of the camera in forever. Um, I did the supplements video, but before that, I swear I had just been doing voiceovers. Um, and I also haven't uploaded in two weeks, which I'm really, really sorry about. I actually feel really guilty about that. Everything will be explained in this video. Those of you who follow me on Instagram or like have come here from Instagram have a little bit more insight into my life, into like what I'm doing, my schooling and all of that. But I feel like here on YouTube, I never did like a, a sit down like life update video. So that's what this is going to be, like a life update slash q and I did get you guys to ask me some questions over on Instagram. Um, just about anything that you've been curious about, about like anything you want to know about my life or anything like that. So I'll probably be answering some of those later in the video. In this video, I'm really just going to be going over some like school stuff, work stuff, um, why I've been a little MIA here on YouTube and just kind of where I'm at right now. Just give you guys a little bit of insight. So this is definitely going to be like a chill video. So grab some coffee, grab some tea. I'm actually getting ready for school like I'm just after this I'm just gonna put pants on <laughs> like not sweatpants and just go out the door so I'm having my coffee right now so to start off those of you who don't know or if you're new here I am a student um, I go to school full-time I'm in my fourth year of my undergrad I'm taking psychology I love it it's super interesting and fun and stimulating and all of the things but it's also like exhausting I, I really have like no spare time to myself between like working and school obviously and YouTube but so I take five courses every semester that's like a full course load last year I think I did four and four but this year I'm doing five again so the reason why I haven't really been uploading the past two weeks is just because I had midterms um, I had a bunch of them the courses I had this semester are a little weird a lot of the classes I have have like two midterm exams and then like an assignment and a final so I had like my first round of midterms right before my reading week, which was like three weeks ago now. And then I had like my second round of midterms like the last two weeks. So they've been kind of spread out, but I've also had like assignments due in between. So it's just been a little hectic for me. Usually during reading week, I have time to um, pre-film a bunch of videos. And that was my plan. I was like, okay, great. I'm going to pre-film a bunch of videos and um, have things edited and ready to go so when midterms hit me I can just continue uploading. Reading week was a disaster. I had so much to do. It was Canadian Thanksgiving over that week so a lot of that time, there was like four days of that time that I was literally just doing family stuff which is exhausting and annoying and then the rest of the time like I had exams and stuff to study for so reading week was really just like I swear I blanked and it was over so I, I wasn't able to pre-film then I came back to school and I just got attacked <laughs> with like so much school work I'm sorry if you can hear my animals just living their lives so since I'm in my fourth year this is really the year that I'm supposed to be graduating but I've already decided that I'm going to be doing a fifth year and the reason for that is I'm going to be doing my thesis. If you're not in Ontario, or I don't know, I guess it, I think it's probably Ontario-wide. But if you're not from here, if it's different where you live, um, in order to like get into grad school, like you need to go to grad school and stuff for a psychology degree in Ontario. Like you can't practice without it. There are still jobs that you can get with an undergrad in psych, obviously. But to practice like the way I'm trying to practice, like I need my, I need a master's. So... In order to do that, it's a lot better for you if you can get a thesis. They don't really say that it's required, but it's like low-key required. So I'm trying to do that next year. A lot of people are already doing it this year, but I just prefer to take my time in school. Like I don't really like to feel rushed or try to feel like I need to be um, doing everything at the same time as everybody else. But another thing that's really important for grad school is to have a lot of experience in a lab. So I somehow landed a, um, a volunteer like research assistant position in a lab at school which I'm so excited about. So my position there is supposed to be um, like 10 hours a week for 8 months but I'm hoping that when the 8 months are done they'll let me just like stick around. Like I'm kind of trying to just stay with it until I'm done school because I really enjoy it. Everyone there is super nice. I love like the study that we're doing that's really interesting to me and I'd like to try to stick with it as long as I can. This summer those so for those of you who don't know I think I've mentioned it a couple times on Instagram but what I'm trying to do with my degree is after I'm done school, like all my schooling, I'd love to work in an inpatient care unit for eating disorders. I'm really interested in working with children and like young adults and teens that suffer with eating disorders. I think that they're very misunderstood and I don't know, just something, there's some, always been something about them that has drawn me. Like it's always really interested in me because I think it's so complex and like every case is so different and I just I just I guess I think they're very misunderstood and I they just really interest me and I'd love to be able to help people with that 
Oh my god, my cat is literally like trying to climb on my ring light. So that's my goal. Um, this summer, I'm I found an inpatient um, unit downtown that I really, really want to work in. So I'm gonna try to get like a volunteer position there. Like I said, I just I don't even care if I'm like doing laundry the whole time. I just want to be in the environment and like start getting to know people. I feel like a lot of times with school, like networking is so important and like who you know is so important. And after I finish my undergrad here in Toronto, I'm hoping to move to Ottawa and complete my master's and PhD there. Hopefully, if I decide to go with my PhD, um, depending on the route that I'm taking, that's kind of something that I'm like struggling with right now. I'm like so confused. As long as I get to like work with people, like I'm cool with that. So I'm thinking about doing an MSW. I'm not really sure though i might honestly do both i like school never closes so if i do an msw and then decide that i want to go in with my master's in psych like i can still do that after and then continue on with my phd like once i've already had my job and i'm like working and i can do a phd or something like i don't really know and those of you who have been following me on instagram you probably know already that i did quit my job at starbucks very recently i think my last shift was like in the beginning of october and the main reason why i quit was because of just school in the lab like I, I really didn't feel like I would have enough time to get everything done um at Starbucks I would have only been working like Saturday early mornings anyways but I felt like I'd rather take my Saturday mornings and film an extra video a week and that was my plan I was planning on uploading twice a week and I did it once last I think it was two weeks ago last time I uploaded I had like two videos within like four days and that is my goal but midterms really just ruined my life i have a couple papers due in the next few days like by monday i have like all my papers due so hopefully by next week i will be able to start uploading twice a week again that is my goal if not twice a week obviously there will be a, a video every week but i'm i'm hoping for twice a week i got a lot of questions about that actually um when i asked you guys to send me some questions in about what i'm doing now how i balance work and school and balancing work and school is a lot like it's hard but i was able to do it it's just difficult when i have youtube in the mix so so filming editing and uploading a video usually takes me about six to ten hours depending on what the video is um videos like this are a lot shorter and easier like i'll probably be filming for about an hour and then it'll take me an hour or two to edit and then upload but when i'm doing like a hair mask video like that those take a lot of time because i'm actually doing the mask so it's like filming as well as making the mask as well as like showering washing my hair and doing all of those things and then editing it all and like doing the voiceover like they do take time so it's really hard for me to only have one day off a week between school and work and then have that whole day dedicated to like trying to do youtube homework and catching up with like my boyfriend and my family and stuff um another reason why i quit though honestly if you guys work in customer service you totally would understand i just customers drive me insane <laughs> like i was honestly just tired of being like shit on every shift for no reason like why are you yelling at me because of coffee why why are you yelling at people like i i don't understand the entitlement that some people have just to talk to customer service staff that the way that they do and it just after like i was there for about a year and it just got too much for me i've always worked customer service like all of my jobs have been in restaurants or starbucks so a lot of you guys ask me where i'm working now and this is where i'm working now here on youtube this is my job currently which is weird to say because I never thought that I would rely on YouTube as a job. So thank you guys for watching my videos and making that possible for me. So that's kind of what's been going on with me lately. That's why I've been a little MIA. It's just been a lot, especially with the lab. Um, it was my first month really working in the lab, like after I was done my training and stuff. So I really just wanted to be there and be present and just do the things I need to do. I love school, like I love psych and stuff, so I, I love working in the environment. Just like the assignments and exams really kill me, but the actual content and what I'm learning, I just love it. Like it's so interesting. So if you've been thinking about maybe going to school for it or going back to school for it, definitely do it. Like it's never too late. Um, if that's something that you're really interested in, I think you would really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun and you get to learn a lot. Okay, so I'm going to answer some of the questions you guys sent me now. A lot of you guys ask like the same questions, which I think is really funny. So hopefully I'll be able to answer like a bunch of them at the same time. I'm looking at my phone because I asked them on Instagram. Okay, so the first one I want to answer that you guys asked me a ton. The other day I posted a picture on my Instagram on my story of like me holding my boyfriend's hand. And it was my right hand, but like my ring, this ring was showing and i got like an insane amount of dms asking if i'm engaged i'm not engaged you guys i'm literally a child i'm only 22 i feel like it's really young for that i'm also like i said still in school and everything so that would not be practical right now so this is just a ring that he gave me last year for christmas it's like a promise ring kind of so it was it's on my right hand i'm not engaged Sorry for the confusion. If, if, if I was engaged, I probably wouldn't announce it anyways, but I'm not engaged, so 
just to get that out of the way I got a lot of questions about that and I got a lot of questions just about relationship advice in general and a few of them are actually really interesting my boyfriend and I have been together for about four and a half years a little bit more than that it's gonna be our five-year anniversary in February which I'm excited about I love our anniversaries they're always like we always do the same thing we go away to like this little cottage and it's just like I don't know super fun I really like it and Five years is not that long in like the grand scheme of life, but I, I started dating him when I was 17, so for me it feels like a long time. A lot of you guys just asked like my best relationship advice or how to maintain a healthy, happy relationship. And I think I've talked about this on here before, but the best advice I can give you guys is just to be, um, you have to trust each other and you have to communicate. If you can't trust your partner, then like what is the point? What is the point of being together if you can't trust each other? I don't understand that. I'll never understand going through each other's phones and just being paranoid about each other. Like, I have never felt that with him once. Even when he goes out, like obviously he has friends and a life that does not involve me. Um, and so do I. Like I have friends and I go out with my friends without him and it's totally fine. My biggest concern when he goes out is him coming home safely. Other than that, I really don't care. Like I know that he's not doing anything dumb so I mean whatever if I ever had the inclination that he did or was doing something then I, I were adults like I would just ask him and confront him about it and I would assume that he would be truthful with me I never have felt the need to like go through his privacy to get answers for something and I think that's like a really huge sign of immaturity and it's just annoying someone asked me a really interesting question too someone asked me what is a toxic trait in relationships that I think has been normalized and that's it I think that like jealousy and insecurity has just been normalized I think it's really ridiculous I think that it's just really toxic that we have this like cheating culture being such a thing like it's funny um, like it's normal and it's not normal so if you feel like you need to go through your partner's phone maybe reevaluate your relationship or if it's something that's workable like there's a lot of times that you can it's something that you guys can work on and fix together and I think that's really good but I think that you guys need to be able to have that conversation and that's where communication comes in if you can't communicate it's gonna be really hard to make sure that your boundaries are set and that expectations that you guys have of each other are being met a lot of you guys ask if I'm ever gonna show his face I know like when I do post pictures of him and I like on my stories and stuff I always block out his face and that is because he is uncomfortable with being on social media he doesn't have social media and I think just the prospect of having a lot of people that he doesn't know like know what he looks like just makes him feel weird so um, I block out his face to respect his wishes I also just like keeping that part of me a little bit private as much as I like to show him and show us because he makes me happy and he's like we're, we're always together he's my best friend that's something that I'd like to keep to myself for a little bit longer maybe one day he'll be okay with doing like the boyfriend tag or something but as of right now it's not something that we're planning on doing so I'm really sorry if that's disappointing or annoying but it just is what it is moving on from that topic I want to talk a little bit about hair because why else am I even on the internet I'm sure most of you know anyway because I posted it here on YouTube as well in the community tab if you guys um, are ever looking for updates I try to post there as well as I do on Instagram but on November 1st I started the little mini protective styles challenge I am gonna be doing a winter growth challenge I've been getting so many questions about that but that will be starting probably in December I usually try to start it like December 1st and have it go for like three months so I will be uploading a video before that happens and I will be posting about it so don't worry I will give you guys ample time to prepare but until then I wanted to do like a mini protective styles challenge hence why my hair is up right now so the the point of the protective style challenge is just to wear your hair in some sort of protective style any style that you'd like um, for the month of November obviously not like the same like you can take it out and wash your hair and stuff but every day just try to keep your hair up in some sort of protective style to prevent breakage prevent any damage from the elements here in Canada it's freezing already what else is new so just keeping my hair in like a, a bun with a hair stick or in a braid really just helps to keep my hair from tangling it keeps it from being dry and it really helps to protect my ends so I didn't post anything about it on November 1st I totally should have I just forgot um, but I did start on November 1st and I posted that Instagram like that picture on Instagram with the caption I also posted it on YouTube in the community tab I'll show you guys the protective style that I've been wearing most often and it's the one I'm wearing right now so it's just a lazy wrap bun with a hair stick through it this bun is really easy to do and I think it's really cute so if you guys want a tutorial on that let me know and I'd be more than happy to film it for you but this is basically how I've been wearing my hair the past few days so that's it for today's video you guys that's all the updates I have for you I really hope that this video clarifies some stuff and let you guys get to know me a little bit better kind of give you insight on what I'm doing 
doing outside of the screen. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. You definitely should. I'm there a lot more often. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.